Hey guys, welcome to Entertainment Talk Nation. This is Rob. This video, we're going to discuss Godzilla Resurgence, Godzilla 2016. Question being, is no news good news? So a couple of days ago, there was what many thought was going to be breaking news on the Godzilla front. There was supposed to be an article in a Japanese magazine that was going to show a scan, whatever that may be. <clears throat> Some people theorize it would be a scan of the suit that they were going to show and how it looked in CGI, uh, whatever the case may be. Irregardless, not even two hours later, uh, it was reported that the news that they were going to report in this magazine was nothing new. We had heard it before. Uh, anyone who's enthusiastic about Godzilla and that follows the new movie has heard this news. So we still, as of March 21st, have heard nothing regarding this movie. Now... Is no news good news? Because, you know, the, the, we, we have to try to remain optimistic, right, I guess? So sometimes no news can be good news. You know, you come home from work, you check the mail, there's no mail. No news is good news. You don't have any bills, you know? You go to the doctor. The doctor takes a blood test and he takes a urine sample and he says, I'll call you if there's anything that we see, blah, blah, blah. Four days go by, you don't hear from the doctor, which means he found nothing. No news is good news. But there's times where no news is not good news. I think Godzilla <laughs> Resurgence falls under this category because we're about roughly four months away now. We still haven't heard anything at all. Zip. The latest rumor is that they were transferring from Suitmation CGI combo to complete CGI. Uh, as time passes without any word or any indication or any trailer, whatever the case may be, that's beginning to become more and more believable. You know, this is a bad time, I think, for Toho to go into this and start having doubts or doing things the wrong way. You know, when, when this movie was first announced, they were very proud of it. They were very happy with how they were setting up with their production, the people they hired, uh, even going as far as to say that it was going to be uh, or they were going to show America how a real Godzilla movie was supposed to be done. Whatever. Okay? And, and look, they might still pull it off. They might still pull it off, right? They might still come out of nowhere and deliver a fantastic movie. I mean, I, I can't say I'm not looking forward to it, but I can't say I'm super excited because there's nothing to be excited about. There's nothing that's, that's been shown. So that was the latest word. And, and now we're kind of wondering what's going on behind the scenes, right? What, what's happening? Okay, if this rumor about switching over from Sumation to 100% CGI is not true, then what is going on? Are they just trying to keep the best kept secret in the world? Are they trying to maybe change last minute how Godzilla looks? Maybe they weren't too happy with the amount of people who did not like the look. Uh, I thought it was 50-50, you know, which to me would seem normal. There's been so many different Godzilla suits out there that 50-50 to me seems the norm. So I don't see why, but maybe they, they got more negative feedback than they expected. Uh, I know that, like, again, to me it seemed 50-50. It seemed a lot of people liked it and a lot of people hated it. Is there something that they saw in the movie that just didn't look right to them? Is this a good thing? Maybe they saw that this looks a little too cheesy. You know, I, I don't know. Whatever the case may be, they're hush-hush. And maybe they have everything under control. Maybe everything's under control, and they're just getting people worked up for the sake of working them up, only to drop a fantastic trailer that's going to show what looks to be a fantastic movie. I can't say I'm that 100% confident, because here's the thing. And I know, look, there's people out there, I know you guys, there's some of you Toho lovers out there, who Toho does no wrong in your eyes. They're the best shit since sliced bread, all right? They're the best cup of wine since Jesus. And, you know, I <laughs> and I got to say, okay, it doesn't matter how much they do things differently, whatever. This is four months before the movie's released. You're not even marketing it in your own town, in your own country. I'm not talking about marketing for us. That's near, neither here nor there. They're not even marketing this movie in their own country. There, there, haven't, there hasn't been anything since the release of that poster and that bullshit trailer that we got. Since then, there's been nothing at all. No, no articles, no word, no nothing. A couple of characters. Okay, so what? We all know nobody cares about that right now. Nobody cares about the characters in the movie, okay? That's, let's just be honest. Nobody gives a shit. Nobody, it's not that the characters aren't going to be important. It's not that they're not going to contribute to the story. But right now, nobody cares about the characters. Nobody can give two flying shits about the characters in this movie. What people want is a trailer that's going to show what has been promised. A very scary Godzilla. And it doesn't mean you have to show him full tilt. I mean, you might as well now you show the poster. But even if you show a trailer, a minute, minute and a half, you can throw in some of those scenes where people are running around. 
but show something. Show a building falling. So, like show him going through a building and you see parts of his body, but you don't see him 100%. Show a shadow of his tail. Show a shadow of him. Uh, you know, throw his roar in there. You know, something something that people can kind of say, all right, wow, this looks, you know, I have something I can stick my teeth into now. But the fact that we're four months away from this movie, we have nothing at all. Uh, you know, they're there's, there's self-made. And I say self-made because there have been no reports officially in any magazines or websites or anything. Self-made rumors about a possible trailer coming out at the end of the month. I don't know. I don't know. At this point, they I think they need to start something to, to get the ball rolling on this uh, before they run out of time. I mean, movies, you know, usually start marketing their movie about six months out. They'll drop a trailer, then they'll drop another one, and as it gets closer to release, you start seeing the commercial spots and this and that and posters and, and all the... the um, commercials for like deals with different restaurants or different organizations that they're sponsoring whatever or they're sponsoring them so but we have zero we have zero japan has zero on this movie so you know and, and it sucks because this is something we, we were we were all excited about we're over over here some people are losing their faith completely i'm again i'm kind of half you know six one half dozen to the other because on one hand it's like all right this is ridiculous but on the other hand i have to say that i know for a fact if i saw a very good trailer or saw something tangible leading to july it would it would re re fire relight that fire of excitement so i'm kind of just standing pat stuck, stuck in suspended animation waiting for something but it, i don't know something tells me there's something going on behind the scenes they didn't like maybe the director did something they didn't like they didn't like special effects maybe they felt it looked too much like attack on titan and they don't want that and they, you know they possibly want to differentiate themselves from another franchise that involves large creatures or large monsters be them humanoid or not there could be a number of things but we don't know we don't know so if you guys have any educated guesses or any educated predictions on so what the hell is going on behind the scenes that is delaying any marketing or any promotion of this movie that is coming out in four months please comment below i want to hear what you, you guys think and until next video hopefully we get something but if not we're i'm going to start moving on and discussing other godzilla topics regarding future movies and i've been working on a new godzilla 30 for 30 which is a lot more difficult to work on now because there's really not too much content out there but i've been slowly working towards one and we'll do that when i'm done with it but yeah, let me know in the comments what you guys think of this situation. Until next video, this is Rob signing off for ETN, where we don't do news, we just talk entertainment. Take it easy. Thank you for watching ETN. Don't forget to comment, share, and subscribe. Join the nation's Facebook page to meet other subscribers or visit ETN's Facebook page and Twitter page. Links for all are in the description. You're watching ETN. Share and subscribe. Hey guys, welcome to Entertainment Talk Nation. This is Rob. This video, we're going to discuss Godzilla Resurgence, Godzilla 2016. Question being, is no news good news? So a couple of days ago, there was what many thought was going to be breaking news on the Godzilla front. There was supposed to be an article in a Japanese magazine that was going to show a scan, whatever that may be. <clears throat> Some people theorize it would be a scan of the suit that they were going to show and how it looked in CGI, uh, whatever the case may be. Irregardless, not even two hours later, uh, it was reported that the news that they were going to report in this magazine was nothing new. We had heard it before. Uh, anyone who's enthusiastic about Godzilla and that follows the new movie has heard this news. So we still, as of March 21st, have heard nothing regarding this movie. Now, is no news good news? Because, you know, the, 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 we, we have to try to remain optimistic.